M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Big thank you to Chris 2 e 0 ukh for his information on these satellite frequencies for the ISS. We're just going to create them, create a zone and send it to my radio which is connected via my USB cable at the moment. So all you do is we're going to create a new zone as well. First thing we'll do though is create a channel. Now I'm going to put the channel here at about 53. You have the the center frequency and then you have the frequency when it's going away from you and coming towards you so they're slightly different I'm just going to put the ones in that Chris has recommended so we're going to double click this one here we're going to call it Chris has called the first one ISS repeater 5 and I'm guessing that's a 500 kilohertz shift is it and we'll put the receive frequency is a 437.80500 Eight o five hundred. Of course, you can download an app and you can see when the satellite is coming towards you. One four, and I'll put the link in for that as well. And then we've got the transmit, which is one four five dot nine nine zero zero zero, which is the same on all three of these frequencies. Dot nine nine zero zero zero. Looking good, and it's analog channel. Keep the power high. 25 kilohertz spacing. Then we want the 67 tone. Just on the TX. So that will be the N code. So down here, N code. CTSS 67. Click OK. That's one channel created. At this point, we can create a zone and call it ISS and put that channel in just to start off. It's going to be a lot easier to find things if you've got a zone. So we're going to go down here. These are my other zones. Each zone has groups of channels. For example, this one's called hotspots. Inside that, I've got my hotspots. So anyway, we're just going to call this one ISS. Just double check. Click the space. There you go. ISS. And we do need to put a channel in, or it won't save. So we'll put the channel we've just created in. Now click OK, and that zone now exists. Go back to channels here, top left, channels. And then we're going to copy and paste, for now, to a channel beneath and a channel above. OK, we are going to slightly change them. So the one above, we're going to call it, let's have a look now. Let's do this correctly. If we look here what we've done, the one where it's above you is 437800, all the zeros, and then same transmit frequency. And we've got, we've kept the title ISS repeater. The one where we've got the shift minus, which is 437.79500, we've put minus, and then plus 437 dot 500 where we've just written the word five in the title we go back to our zone so we've created three channels you've seen the first one i'll just show you another one show you the minus one here's minus so minus five four three seven dot seven nine five zero zero same transmit analog high we've still got the tone ctcss click ok you don't have to worry about all this because it's not a digital channel it's an analog channel you can use this system on even on a bow phone, as far as I know. Anyway, anyway, so let's go back. We've got the three channels zone, ISS, and we need to add those channels in, like so. Click OK, and then we're going to write write to radio. That will write a new zone and the channels in one place. So when the, the you know the ISS satellite is coming towards you, you you should use the higher frequencies and you can add more frequencies like just copy like this copy, and then paste, a couple more one above and one below, paste and then just increase the inc increment so you've got eight five hundred there so if I double click fifty one, and then you know just increase it there so. I'll just go. Eight one and three zeros. There you go. And then you can name that. Put a ten there, so you know that one's 
increased rather than minus, click OK. And then underneath, do the same kind of thing, like so. And you change it to, I'm guessing, 7900, and then you'll put it minus 10. You get the idea. And so as it's moving, you know, you can sort of go with the Doppler shift if you want to be technical. And you can just turn the channel knob. So we'll just click zone. Remember, I've never done this. I'm learning from Chris. I'll put a link in, like I said, for the satellite tracker. Click OK and then go right to radio. And then what, let's have a look at the radio. Just double check my channels are correct before I do. So we've got, yeah, 8500 plus and minus. Yeah, you get the idea. The center frequency is channel 53, which is 4378,000. 8, you go on that one, and then if you think it's away from you, then you tune to the, um, it's a good, I keep forgetting, but just try both, and then you'll hear everyone shouting in. So let's move to the radio. I'll show you what it looks like on the radio now. If you want it to show on the radio straight away, what you've got to do is go to optional settings, power on, and then you can actually select here. So if I select the actual zone ISS, like so, and then let's do the startup channel as the center one, which would be the ISS repeater. Click OK. We do need to save this before we lose it, actually. So we'll just save, we'll call this one a new code plug, call it ISS. Save. OK. Then uh, right to the radio. Then what will happen is when the radio boots, ISS will already be on the screen. You won't have to search through all the zones. So let's go and have a look at the radio. So at the radio, we are on the ISS repeater. Now, I, as I said, I changed my code plug to this just appears. But if you want to scroll through your zones to find it, just go up and down, up and down until it says the name of your zone. And then to change the channel, no, you just turn the middle knob. So the center frequency is ISS repeater. So when it's coming towards you, you want the plus, you know, the higher frequencies. You got minus and see like 10 is plus 10, isn't it? Five is plus five. As it goes away, go to the minuses and you can add more frequencies. Give it a go. I'll just quickly show you the app that you, well, there's several apps you can download to track the ISS so you know when it's about to come over. And I think it comes over, you know, quite often. I don't know exactly, but I think it's more than once a day, put it that way. So let me know how you get on with this. I, I, I will have a go myself and I'll make a video. Thanks for watching my channel, 7.3. The apps that I've downloaded, just go to Play Store and just put an ISS tracker. There's a few there and they do have adverts. But you can see, you know, we're tracking it. It's going to go across past New Zealand, Australia, and, and so on and so on. And you've got this nighttime view as well. So let's give it a go. Thanks for watching my channel, ISS Contact, using your Anytone 878 or DMR radio. Use the same frequencies for another radio. And thanks very much to 20 UKH uh, for providing these frequencies and the video, which I will put in the description. 7-3, all the best.